Hey everybody, it's Beth. I grabbed two of these wooden cutting boards from Dollar Tree as well as some of their wood planks. I took three wood planks and on one of them along the long side, I placed some quick hold glue and placed another plank standing upright against that. I then, for the other piece, I put it along the very edge and placed that down on the one on my desk. To keep those into place while the glue sets, I use some painter's tape to hold them together. Pieces on the inside and then again on the bottom on the outside to keep those pieces nice and tight until the glue sets. Once I have those pieces on, those pieces that I put on the inside, I just tuck them in so I can work with the edges of those. Again, adding the quick hold glue and then I set that down and place my cutting board along one side. Again, using painter's tape to hold it into place, making sure it's lined up how I want it, and then place the tape down. I do the same thing on the other side as well. After I have those set, I let it dry for an hour before I work with it again. After the hour, I remove the tape and then I paint the entire thing with two coats of celery green acrylic paint. After that's completely dry, I take this half inch thick dowel that I got from Dollar Tree, mark it on the area that'll be in between the two cutting boards, cut that down with some miter shears and sand off the edge, painting it with the same color, two coats on that as well. Next, I'm taking these rub-on transfers that I get from Amazon and I'm wanting something on the handle. So I decided to take the font that's on the transfers and just cut different sections and use a craft stick to transfer it on to the handle. And I just do different sections covering it all the way around. I then cut another section of the transfer and take off the backing and place that down on one of the sides of the toolbox. I again use my craft stick to get the transfer on to my surface. And then I take some of the quick hold glue again and place it on the edge of the both sides of the dowel and place it in between the handles of the cutting boards. And that's it for this project. I absolutely love how it turned out and I just decorated mine with some florals and greenery. Thank you so much for watching.